All right, so it's Ashley Applegate with Kentucky Welding Institute, and we're here at Case IH. We love the tradition they have and the way they bring the old into the new, especially with the new models they have with the older type of insignia they've got. So we're gonna talk with some folks at Case IH, and we're gonna let them tell you the opportunities they have if you wanna work on the road or remain local in agriculture. Hi, I'm Pete Steiner. I work for CNH Industrial, the, the proud uh, company of great brands like Case IH, New Holland, and Raven. Uh, I'm here at the FFA convention. We're talking to young students about the need for uh, great people to get into the industry, especially in the trades and in as ag mechanics. Now, one of the things that uh, is an important aspect related to ag mechanics is the ability to weld. Now, some of the programs that we work with will have welding sections within their course, but for those of you that are really interested in welding, there's an opportunity to work with, with um, Kentucky Welding Institute and see what, uh, start your career off, get that welding degree, get the, the competencies that you need, and it, then also trade that, uh, turn that in and work with uh, tech school to, to get a degree and work at one of our dealerships. You know, a lot of people in America bleed the brand of their tractor, so a lot of people bleed red because they, they love the heritage from Farm Hall to, to International and now Case IH and the different brands that you have. Over the years, have you seen the manufacturing industry change as far as the components being welded? And do you still need the human touch, even though we have a lot of robotics in industry now? Sure, um, in, the, in the industry, in the manufacturing site, we've seen a lot more robotics and, and uh, uh, some type of, uh, uh, eliminate the need for mechanical mm -hmm. uh, welding in there. But when it comes to the repair side of it, there's a lot of repairs that you can't, you know, once the machine is put together, it needs to be repaired. Uh, as you look at machines that have got larger and larger, you know, uh, more and more iron on there, there's welded fitting on there. So there's a lot of, um, a lot of need for welders still to be able to do the trade. Now there, you know, when you mentioned that repair, that's a, a totally new aspect because I think there's opportunity for, you know, someone who maybe doesn't want to leave the farm and go into welding full time, they could start a repair business and repair, you know, equipment, farm equipment in, in their community, in their town, and still have that farming agriculture life that they love. Yeah, and that's that's the big push that we have. Most of our uh, Case IH dealerships are located in rural communities. It gives the opportunity for those individuals that want to stay at home, work in their community, to, uh, to get jobs at the community, whether it's uh, welding or it's as a, a technician. They can bring those skills together and work at a dealership or, or repair their own uh, items on the farm. Well, Pete, thanks for talking with us today. Okay, uh, Thanks for letting us know some ways that you can be involved with Case IH and still be a welder in your rural community here in America. So hopefully you guys like this video. We'll be putting out more videos on our YouTube channel, so subscribe to that. And also, check out our website. We have links and we also have shop for clothing and a virtual tour. Until next time, see you there.